when there is no light, everything is shut down. By the time you will go out and come back, and you need that light so that you will see something to relax yourself, you will not see that light. And before you know it, you start having BP. And from BP, you will die off like that without the light. I can't even know what is going on in this Nigeria. At least someone needs to listen to news. There is no doubt that electricity plays a major role in human existence. From the artisans who use it to do their daily jobs, to the big manufacturing companies, households and offices, electricity remains a major factor for their existence. This is why the provision of constant and steady electricity supply remains one of the major focal points of the seven-point agenda of the federal government. However, the rate at which hoodlums vandalize electrical facilities is becoming worrisome. With Lagos in focus, on Victoria Island, for instance, a total of 173 substations have been vandalized. Uh, these are some of the equipments we found in some areas that have come cutting our cables. This is an axle. They, they usually cut from the transformer cable end bus here. For these single core, 500 mm single core cables that has large uh, copper quantity in them between the transformer and the feeder pillar. Many areas in part of Lagos have, as a result, been thrown into darkness for months with the attendant security threat and disruption of social and economic activities. We didn't have light for about maybe about four months. You can imagine what that means in terms of the uh, stress your equipment, your domestic appliances, and not to talk of generator, diesel, and that was when the diesel cost was at its highest. It's over two years now, I'm using generator. But who are the people responsible for this act of sabotage, and why? Some people are born criminal. That is why they are behaving like that. Some of them are graduates, they don't have job. And when they get all this, in, they use this in doing these uh, hangers. So they sell it to get money so that they will eat. Officials themselves are not uh, helping. You can imagine somebody bringing you outrageous bills, bringing you bills that are not even uh, for the light you've not consumed. They're in a month, they'll be light for uh, maybe in a week, and they're giving you 5000 to pay. So it, 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 it's annoying. So it, I think it's a transfer aggression. What security measures are being put in place to safeguard these facilities from being vandalized? You can see, for example, in this location, yes. we had to use uh, almost uh, five uh, bags of cement, you know, to use it to bury these cables. We liaise with uh, security agencies these days to cooperate with them, and so that at least any reported case is treated urgently. Another major problem is the replacement of vandalized cables or transformers when they go bad. Some residents complain that they wait endlessly for the authority concerned whenever such problems arise. When I went there, they said they have a coil, but it's having coil problem. Coil problems since November, up to day, no show. For the past one year, we've been writing to PACN, we've been there, we've even written to the marina office. There are some times that people had to go to the office at Ijora, Emmas, to protest when they were waiting for the uh, transformer and didn't come. Even though some vandals get electrocuted in the course of vandalism and several others get arrested, the crime has not abated. So, what can be done to reduce vandalism of government's property by hoodlums? If there's uh, security in the country also, uh, which also tallies with the fact that uh, there is no job. Things will be more harmonious in the society. By the time they will employ them, give them work, you see that the rate of uh, all these things will stop.